I wanted to make this video to talk about a frustrating problem uh, with Swift when you have some Objective C in your program. So we have a program here that is it's making use of uh, some Objective C classes and CocoaPods from Swift, right? And here we're we're trying to convert this object to something that's inherited from Objective C. Now, if we go to the bridging header. This, def this guy is defined in layer kit, okay? So if I go to the bridging header, you'll see that layer kit is properly imported. So you would think that everything should work from Swift. It has imported this layer kit, and that object is defined in there. I can even jump to its definition right from Swift, and here it is, right? But even though that's all true, I'm still getting use of undeclared type and that's because Swift doesn't know about this class even though as you saw in the bridging header it was properly imported right so how do we get around this well it's a frustrating problem but the bridging that happens between Swift and Objective-C is not perfect and because it's not perfect there are problems and so some things um, don't get imported that that should be imported so this is an example of something that was defined in Objective-C and I in my bridging header I imported the entire framework including this guy um, but it's still not recognized in Swift and so in order to get around this problem um, what I need to do is I need to import that layer kit again from here okay so I'm gonna import it again and you'll see when I build this time, um, basically the problem is going to disappear. And that's because now that it's properly imported from an actual Swift class, it does a proper import. So even though you have in your bridging header properly imported layer kit, as I did, you still may have to import it again. And that goes for any class, really. You may have to import a second time. Uh, from Swift to actually get all the objects in there. It's a really annoying problem, um, but that that's just how it is. Um, so don't rely on your bridging header to give you all the objects. You may have to import it again through Swift.